We got some wild video, folks. This is definitely gonna challenge you. Drop a thumbs up in and let's check this world that we live in, everything is connected. If in one place Damn. it's too hot, in another place it will be too cold. Mm -hmm. And the same thing kind of happens with locusts and insects. In the years of 2019 and 2020, plagues of locusts were registered all over the world. In a Let me know when you're watching. Are you watching this video in 2050? Because the crazy thing here is that we're in 2023 and it's been three years since the the the, the Roni situation hit i cannot say that word on youtube by the way because, that was never registered before and the thing is what's connected here is that we have been having strange climate and weather in the past few years and this has everything to do yep. with the swarms of locusts that we have been seeing sudden rainfall for example could help feed a growing population and cause flooding that corals locusts together and attracts more locusts to join Damn. What starts as a small group can turn into a thrumming storm of thousands. The crazy, the crazy thing is that in the future, uh, it depends on where you live, right? But there will be so many cities that will cease to exist, right? It will take some time. I believe there's a city somewhere around I I Italy. Uh, I am, I, it's not coming up in my mind, but due to like over flooding, due to like nature taking over, there will be a lot of cities that will go underwater. Millions or even billions of locusts. Martin Schaff. The situation Damn. is dire, but this isn't a new problem. Locusts are the oldest migratory pest in the world. Plagues of locusts are recorded as early as the pharaonic times of ancient Egypt with perhaps the most famous reference in the Old Testament's book of Exodus. The largest plague in US history was recorded in 1875 when a swarm of trillions of now extinct Rocky Mountain locusts measuring 2,000 miles long and 110 yeah. miles wide flew over the Midwest. Severe weather Holy. conditions including heat extremes, strong cyclones and unusual heavy rains in the Arabian Peninsula are creating ideal conditions for adult populations to explode. Recently, many other countries have been seeing the same thing happen. Indiana in locust swarm sweeps into Delhi suburb girl. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. In the near future, if nothing is done about it, Holy we could have a huge problem with food supply and the way that we do things. Not to mention the possibility of animal and insect genetic modification. Something that it's really, really sad that we are trying to reverse engineer and genetically and, and drop so many different chemicals that have re real bad side effects into our food supply and water supply. That is really, really sad. Like, uh, and they're trying to destroy farmers as well. Absolutely wild, man. It has been happening a lot lately, and we don't know exactly the consequences to that. Yeah. The thing is, if not oh, dealt what? properly and timely, this could become a huge- Is that a bee? Or something else? Maybe like a mama bee? God damn, that is insane, bro. Huge problem that would take millions of dollars and years to solve. Mm, yeah, guys, watch and if learn, watch and learn. there's one future that is very close to becoming Neuralink. a scary reality is the possibility of biological humans trading their bodies in favor of a purely digital existence. This would require- You know, honestly, man, if we do not blow ourselves up and if we live uh, till at least 2050, if you have played cyberpunk game, we're really, oh, shit. Oh, we're shit. really getting there, boys, with Neuralink especially. And it's not doom and gloom all the time, guys, but 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 it is doom and gloom when you, when you talk about that kind of stuff. But it is quite true, though. Even over phones, like the phone you're using, you're most likely watching this video on your phone, right? Maybe you're watching it on your TV, maybe on your laptop or PC, but most of you are watching it on your mobile device. This is how it works, okay? And this is an extension. This is, uh, we are really merging with technology. And it's not like all bad it, quite frankly the technology really does help us out for example if you want to calculate something you can pull a calculator and you can do that very fast and you do not have to memorize any of your homies phone numbers but the problem is when you separate yourself with the technology can you then calculate can you then do two plus two i mean easy number for sure but point is like can you still do can you still do the maths right? Can you still do the maths? Uh, are you gonna be able to memorize your homie's number? Uh, you know what I mean? So it's one of those things. Definitely the technology help us out, but it's also, it should not be the crutch, but it is becoming the crutch and 2050, if we live long enough, man, it is gonna get bad. Hopefully not. Let's hope for the best. Prepare for the worst, guys. Hire a person to literally upload their mind to a supercomputer. But this hypothetical that, process might actually result in the permanent destruction of the original person. Sounds like a Black Mirror episode, doesn't it? 
but in fact, this is already being tested. And the problem with this is something called a continuity of consciousness. The thing is, supercomputers may actually create an algorithm that will be able to copy a person's entire memory, personality and many other traits. The thing is... Uh, the thing is that this video is just a little bit old, not too much, and currently in 2023, okay? You tell me when you're watching, what year? If you're watching it in 2025, let us know what happened, uh, okay? Let us know. And if you're watching in 2050, let us know if it's true or not. But what he's saying is true because oh, shit. Oh, shit. right now in 2023, there are defects going around. They have cre uh, created the technology that can just literally copy everything you're doing, okay? Everything you're doing. And it it's going to be able to perfectly mimic but that's like ai video only we're not really talking about you uploading your conscious into a computer they are testing it in fact they were doing it this video is a little bit old so they're doing it back they were doing it back then they're still doing it uh, th there would have likely they would have likely made a little bit of a progress maybe a lot of progress and in the future they would point is that the defect technology that's going around that is very wild okay because uh you cannot trust anything you hear anymore you cannot trust anything you see there are a lot of ai youtubers uh basically it's not a youtuber it's ai making youtube videos and there was like an ai streamer over on twitch that started just a few months ago and now it's one of the top streamer basically an ai is reacting to videos on twitch oh, shit. Oh, and shit. at one point it had 5,000 people watching an ai not a real person not a real person uh a an ai not even a robot it doesn't even exist it doesn't even exist you know what i mean oh, shit. Oh, we are shit. really getting there guys it is uh, getting freaky out here bro we still haven't found a way to copy a person's consciousness into some sort of digital platform and this is where i see yep. a bit of a problem because if this becomes a thing in the near future, imagine that you're talking to someone through Facebook or any other social platform. You may actually not know if this person is real, real or if or it's not. a digital copy of yep. someone that isn't alive anymore. That is Hello, incredible. I am the future. I am the beginning of Peter 2.0. On the 10th of October 2019, Peter 1.0 will say his very last but this word. This was, this was like four years ago and four years later, we have way better technology. It's way more realistic if you compare this with what we have right now. And the, the, the sus part here is that it is only getting better. It is only getting better. It's not all. Imagine if hackers get their hands on tools and supercomputers that can replicate a person into a digital self. I can't even fathom the problem that this could become yeah and another thing that i wanted to bring in is that i i feel like that going in the future they would have to also design algorithms to counter and detect algorithm there there will be an ai that will try and find out if other person is an ai or real Bruh. yeah that's gonna happen so let's just say they have created created an ai and you are watching a youtube video you're not sure if that's a real person or not maybe this video is not real oh, shit. Oh, maybe shit. i'm not a real person person maybe and i'm in i'm in ai okay I, i'm not an ai but but you get the point right we're gonna get to the point where it's gonna be really hard to know whether you're you're watching a real person it doesn't even have to be a youtuber right it doesn't even have to be you watching a youtube video it can be just your family or friends like you're talking over on zoom you do not even know if they're real or not we're really gonna get to that point and i think we're also gonna be having an ai that will tell us if you are talking to an ai or a real person it's really gonna get there because we would need to find out if that technology is ai or not a technology and that's a real person it's gonna get real bad does it again am i tripping right now oh what is happening yeah, now, 2020 wasn't enough people are now hearing strange messages that are supposedly coming from the future on their radio stations inside their cars it was the case with snack Quarius who posted this video recently and it obviously went viral and i can't completely understand why the thing is there is something even scarier than 2020 and mm. it's the fact that in the near future and we're talking about three to five years people will be able to create their own pandemic at home Check this what? out. Earlier this year, Oxford's Global Priorities oh, Project compiled a list of catastrophes that could kill off 10% of the population or more. 
and high on the list was a deliberately engineered pandemic, and the authors warned that it could happen in a few as five years. Many of Whoa. the technologies for this prospect are starting to appear, including the CRISPR gene editing system. So he had an ear on the, his forearm? What the actual? and the 3D bioprinters. What's more, the blueprints for this kind of destruction are being made available. A number of scientists spoke out recently when Nature decided to publish a so-called gain-of-function study explaining how the bird flu could be mutated into something even deadlier. The fear is that anyone could create a virus at home with these tools and unleash it. Sir. Yeah, I am, and I hope and pray that you... Yeah. Now, if there's one possible scary damn man, zombie apocalypse is looking more likely going in the future, guys. Like, man, man, these scientists are here trying to play God, and if they let this uh, out on, there, there are a lot of bad apples around, guys. It only takes one bad apple out of 100 good apples. Just it takes one bad apple to cause destruction, man. Every future that we are all probably aware of. It's the effects of climate change. By definition, climate change is the periodic modification of Earth's climate due to changes in the atmosphere and interactions between the atmosphere and other geologic, chemical, biological and geographic factors within the Earth's system. The thing is, it happens from time to time for the Earth's atmosphere to change and within this change temperatures drop or rise. Holy... It looks like that somebody dropped a massive new book. It's probably a volcano. However, since the Industrial Revolution, humans have expelled huge amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, and scientists and experts say that this has triggered an unnatural warming that has seen the Earth's temperature rise dramatically over a short Damn. period of time. But there are experts and scientists out there that disagree Holy. that this has anything to do with the Industrial Revolution or carbon dioxide. So uh, okay, one second, okay, I gotta let you know this. Uh, how many of you know about Dr. Stephen Greer? If you have heard of him, if you have been following him, um, I don't follow everything he does, but I have seen a lot of his stuff, and and uh, it seems like that what he says uh, is very logical and stuff. Uh, and one of the things he talked about is climate change, and he says that we actually have the technology already that can completely alter the planet in, in a good way, in a positive way, to the point where we don't even have to think about global warming or climate change or anything like that because the tech, they already have the technology that is really, really eco-friendly, that is really good, but the, the reason they don't want that technology to be out is because they're not going to make that money. They want to profit off of coal, uh, petrol, and other stuff that is uh, naturally available. They want to deplete that first by the looks of it, but once we get to the the end of it, our planet will just be a disaster. Now, don't I don't believe everything in terms of like climate change. There, there is a lot of truth to it. Yeah, climate change is real. But whenever somebody says that it's not real, it's made up, this and that. Yeah, man-made for sure. A lot of stuff. Uh, we are we are ruining our planet for sure. But it's not as just do not believe everything the government says though you know sometimes it's not the not the truth some actually say that this has most of most of the time it's not the truth more to do with the sun or other factors what i have noticed however in the last couple of years or maybe more is that our atmosphere isn't acting the way it used to it's cold one day hot the other people have been registering snow in the desert and many other strange factors <laughs> that show us that something is going on and if nothing is done, we may be facing a bizarre and scary future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cl climate change, like guys, it is real. It is near real, but it's not what they say it is. Okay, that's basically what now. It one thing at. is to be in control of our future, and in case of a Terminator scenario, we wouldn't be. And this is one of the scariest things that I could ever imagine. When I was younger, I remember watching the Terminator and thinking, this is never going to happen in my lifetime. Well, I guess I was wrong. Mm. That skill is all AI. Damn. It's flying itself. Just like any mobile device these days. It has cameras and sensors. And just like your phones and social media apps, it does facial recognition. 
I will link you our video at the end because there was an AI that actually murdered like 20 scientists. Uh, yeah, that, that's a oh, conspiracy. Oh, it's a conspiracy. That It's not 100% confirmed whether it's real or not because it's kind of behind the scenes kind of thing. Even if it's real, we will not, we will never know. But I will link you a video at the end that is very fascinating, very, very creepy as well. And, and, and it's quite true though. Like, so this is an older video. Uh, and in 2020, last year, I believe, Elon Musk did reveal that Tesla bot, which is way better than what we saw Boston Dynamics do. And, and apparently that Tesla bot is gonna, it's supposed to come out this year. It's supposed to go on retail sale this year. Fully automated weapon systems that hunt down humans is something that isn't that far from becoming a reality. These systems, known as LAWS, lethal autonomous weapons, are under development and it's only a matter of time before they're tacked onto pre-existing weapons, good, including powerful munitions. These robotic weapons are supposed to reduce human casualties and make war more humane. But experts fear these futuristic killing machines could be prone to accidents and even escape human control. Yep, facts. If they start I mentioned to think this for themselves. before, but one thing that I really enjoy doing is looking up to the sky and wondering exactly what it is that is out there. Mm. That yep. is, those are aliens coming down here, y'all. <laughs> Look at it's coming down the same direction. Oh, it's breaking up! Oh, it's six, it's eight, it's nine! Oh, sh Okay, okay, damn, son. Yo, is it a meteor? Because initially I thought it was a meteor. Okay, it can't be a meteor like the rock is breaking up. But but still, though, you you don't you want to always question. Don't believe everything for sure. Uh, it's the aliens. The Martians are here. Obviously, I do believe in aliens, like, bruh. Yeah. But this doesn't mean it's aliens, though. Let's read it. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. Look at that. They stop. However, Stop, there is one that. thing. Okay, I take that back, bro. I, I, I take that back. Boom, Boca! I, I take that back. They stop midair. Okay, that's different. Okay, initially it looked like a uh, meteor, but then it stopped midway. Gravity? What, what, what about gravity, bro? What about gravity? That is out there for sure, and that's 6,000 satellites that we humans put up there at some point. The thing is, we have become completely dependent on satellites. We're coming. What the hell is that? And there is something called the Kastler Syndrome. It's a theoretical scenario in which the density of objects in low Earth orbit due to space pollution is high enough that collisions between objects could cause a cascade in which each collision generates more space debris that increase the likelihood of further collisions. Okay. Without these satellites, our ability to communicate would diminish dramatically. Yep, GPS yep. would be completely wiped out, along with those systems dependent on it. Space based. Uh, what I heard, it co I could be wrong. wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, what I heard is that it requires three satellites to give you accurate data on GPS. So if it's uh, your your phone always connects to three satellites in terms of GPS. Not sure about the calling system, but that's what I heard, and, and this is why you get accurate data uh, even in offline maps. And uh, yeah, synchronization would grind to a halt affecting everything from the financial sector to the electrical grid. Dang. In 2020, a lot of people were asking themselves, when will we make contact with aliens? Oh, God damn. I hope by 20, 2050 at least. I mean, I want it by 2025. I want it right now. But what if we're not ready, right? That's what they say. That's what they say. You think we're going to ever... Uh, this is a question that everybody asks, right? Like, I, I've, I've been asking that for years, damn it. And even in these videos, uh, I've been repeating that. When are we? Are we really going to in our lifetimes? I hope so. But I hope only if they are uh, friendly. If you have been following Dr. Steven Greer, he says that they are friendly, though. Uh, obviously, there are some species that are bad as well. That's what we heard. There's just like humans, just like how there are good humans and bad humans. It's pretty logical when you think about it. There would be some bad aliens. There would be some good aliens. But Dr. Steven Greer says that a lot of them are very peaceful. Uh, and they are very good. So it's good to hear that. But again, it's like... Eh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's real, what's not. Okay, You want to be open to the idea and the possibility. But also not believe everything. And you also don't want to dismiss everything. Because when you dismiss it, it's like you're saying it's not true. Like nothing is true. And when you... uh believe everything it's like what if it's wrong right then you're 
you, you want to be in the middle. You, you want to be open to the idea, for sure. The thing is, between the year of 2019 and 2020, strange videos were released by officials showing what's supposed to be an alien craft. However, it's very difficult to affirm if the technology that we are seeing is indeed alien. And the thing is, if they do exist, would they want to make contact with us or would they prefer to stay <laughs> hidden? Clap alien cheeks. Yeah. Man, this is it, guys. This is it. And in 2023, they shot down three UFOs and said that they couldn't find the wreckage. Uh, probably is a distraction, but I don't know. Man. Actually, this is something that a lot of people ask themselves throughout their lives. Is there anything out there? Will we ever make contact? Yep. The thing is, there is a possibility that we have already made contact. And there is also the possibility that we will never make contact. And that is a future that scares the heck out of me, at least. And to me, nah, it doesn't really scare me. It doesn't really scare me that uh, what if we never make contact? That doesn't scare me. It's just that what if we make contact and they're not friendly? That's the, the scary, that's the terrifying part. But obviously, the possibility of us being alone or not alone, both are equally terrifying in a way because if you're alone, alone, like, damn, like, we are really, like, the only one here. But I don't believe that. I believe we have made contact. I believe the government uh, knows a lot, uh, and they surely are not telling us. Because, yeah. Any other I will link you a video at the end. There's a video. I'm well, this is it for now, but we do have. I'm not sure if I have already uploaded that video or not, but guys, hit that bell because there's an Israeli security guy that says that aliens are real. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.